Well, hey guys, Stephen here with Four Oaks Crafts, and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you another way to make antler rings. This time, I'm going to be using the wood lathe, and I'm going to be showing you how to use a special ring mandrel from Craft Supply USA. So join with me, and let's get started.
Okay guys, to wind this video up, just a final word or two about the antler ring process. I absolutely love uh, this ring chuck made from Craft Supplies USA. Uh, you'll hear me call it a chuck or a mandrel. Uh, to me, it's the star of the show, really. It's formally called the Artisan Ring Turning Chuck. No, I am not sponsored by Craft Supplies and I paid for everything that you see in the video. Uh, if you want to make quality uh, rings, this mandrel, in my opinion, is the way to go. Uh, I've tried other uh, man ring mandrels or chucks in the past, but this one, as you can see, it screws directly into or onto the, the headstock spindle, so there's no wobble and you get ultra precision uh, with your finished rings. And that's really important with making these rings that you get a lot of precision. Uh, when you buy this, it includes uh, three sets of bushings. Uh, you got small, uh, medium, and large. And those sets of bushings will uh, fit just all the different ring uh, cores, ring inserts that you need. These, these bushings, if you're wondering, you probably saw in the video, these bushings basically hold the, uh, the blank in place as you're turning it on uh, the chuck. And that's what their purpose is. The other thing about this um, chuck, I may have failed to point out, is there is a dimple here on the end. And the way I, I did this in the video, I did not use tailstock support. But if you wanted to use your 60 degree uh, cone center, you know, on your tailstock, it'll go into this little dimple here and give you that other support from the other side. However, I didn't do that in the video that I shot. <clears throat> you buy the, uh, the ring cores separately. Uh, They're made of stainless steel, so they won't, um, they won't stain or tarnish. Uh, if you're making uh, these rings for yourself or someone else, just be sure to get the person's correct ring size. That's really important. Uh, so make sure that way you can order the correct ring core, you know, from craft supplies. Uh, these, you know, these ring cores also work great with hardwoods. In fact, I've made uh, rings uh, with hard using hardwoods before. And I've used uh, other ring mandrels in the past. Perhaps I'll make up, you know, a future video uh, using wood. But it's really the same process that you saw in this video. The same process I used on the deer antler. It's really the same process I would use on wood. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the links below if you're interested in the ring chuck and the turning tools that I used. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.